Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the 20th edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will show you a few creative ways on how to use hotcues in DJ Pro 2. Even though this is a tutorial series on DJ Pro 2, this tutorial is applicable to any DJ software using any DJ controller. Let's get started. So the first thing that I do with my hotcues is I always set the first um, available hotcue to the very beginning of the song. That way it's easy for me to go back uh, if I'm listening through and trying to find a place to mix in. So if you see both my tracks here that are loaded, the first hot cue is the beginning, that first beat of the track. Another way you can get to the very beginning of the track is by hitting shift and then the Q button. That will bring you back to, to that same spot. So if I hit shift and Q, we go back to the same spot. So the first transition tip that I'm going to show you today using hot cues is um, from my video on five simple transition tips without beat matching. And all you're doing is just basically just playing that first um, hot cue beat into the song while the other song is finishing. So I have my two tracks loaded, uh, Get Back and Dream Guy right here. And I'm going to get Get Back very close to the end, and I'm going to be playing Dream Guy into that by using the hot cues. So I'm loading Get Back right now to the very end. And I'm going to be hitting this hot cue right here. Um, kind of just playing around with it until it's time for Get Back to End and Dream Guy to start fully. So here's, a, here's what that sounds like. And now Dream Guy is starting. Dream guy. And if you notice, I had this filter um, faded a little bit to the right, and that was so we could avoid the two uh, tracks' bass frequencies from interfering. When the bass frequencies interfere, um, it sounds muddy and unclear, and it doesn't sound good for your mix overall. Um, and one other thing to mention about this transition is you can do this with... Um, tracks that have different BPMs. Obviously, Get Back is 128 beats per minute, and Dream Guy is 140, and it still worked. The next tip um, of things you can do for hot cues is going to involve using the same track loaded on multiple decks. Um, this is especially useful if you have a four-deck controller, but it works just fine on a two-deck controller. So I'm going to load my track, um, I Got No Love, onto both of these decks. And what I'm going to do is, if you listen to the beginning of the track, it's playing um, the same note in all different octaves. And I'm going to set each time it plays a different note into um, a different hot cue. So I can kind of play it almost like a keyboard, like that. And what I'm doing with the other deck is I'm just going to play a little loop with it. And then when that loop is playing, I'm going to be messing around with these hot cues. And kind of almost improvising like a musician would. So here's what that's going to sound like. Just setting my loop here. And I'm actually going to turn this track down so we can hear this one, the one on the, this one on the left right here. So that's the basic idea of that um, hot cue tip. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to show you some cool things that you can do that are based on that. That's just the most basic uh, version of that. 
The next thing that I am going to do with this same track loaded on both decks is um, put some effects on the one that we're playing like an instrument. So this deck right here, the left deck, we're kind of playing it like an instrument. So we're going to put some echo and some reverb and some other stuff on that. So here's what that's going to sound like. So first, I want to get my effects window open in the software. And let's do the um, echo first. So this knob right here in my controller controls the first, um, the first echo, sorry, the first effect, excuse me. So here's what that's gonna sound like. So something like that. And here's our loop again. And I'm gonna play around with it for a sec. So just something like that. Um, that's a basic way to use the effects. Uh, and now I'm gonna add multiple effects on our instrument track. And it's gonna sound a little bit cooler, in my opinion. So now that's the reverb effect on. And I'm changing our what was our echo to a bit crusher. So now that sounds much dirtier and it's almost like a different um, sound that it has. So anyway, here's here's what that sounds like. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to uh, doing something like this. Um, this one, you might not even like the sound, but it just kind of shows how different of a sound you can make just by using the effects. The next hot cue tip that we're going to do uh, involves my tracks Monsters and It's Timmy G, so I'm going to load those on the decks right now. And It's Timmy G is going to be like the background track right now. And we're going to be playing around with uh, monsters quite a bit. So I'm just going to get the loop loaded for It's Timmy G. So I have my loop ready now. And um, now we're going to look at monsters. And there are a lot of tracks that have um, big, heavy instrument parts that uh, are all by themselves with no drums. I actually did this type of... Um, live mashup with Skrillex's Chicken Soup. I have the video listed below in the description. Um, but basically, I use some of the um, instruments that aren't with any drums, and I can you can really do a lot. And my track, Monsters, uh, has parts of that, so we're going to do that with Monsters. So I'm going to go and find the drop. And those quarter notes that just played, um, I'm going to set as hot cues. So I'm going to get rid of the current ones right now by hitting shift and then clicking them. So let's say I'm going to have that one, this, this, and this. So now, so now you can play that. Um, kind of like they're their own instrument, kind of like the last hot cue tip we were talking about. So now I'm going to play the It's Timmy G background and just mess around with, um, with these monsters chops, I'll say. So that's what that, this, here's what this is going to sound like. So something like that, and kind of like the last example, you can throw effects on it. You can do all sorts of things to uh, kind of bring your your 
DJing into more of a performance. The last transition tip is going to use my tracks uh, Pennies or a Dollar and White Light. So I'm going to load those right now. And for this one, white light is going to be the background. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a combination of hot cues and the uh, tempo slider to adjust the sound almost like we're scratching. It's not doesn't really sound like a scratch, but it has similarities to that. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to get the loop ready for uh, white light. So now the loop's ready for white light. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that my... Um, key lock is off that is right here make sure that this is not on that's what it looks like if it's on but we don't want it on and then go down under the tempo and click make sure the range is 75 um, this gives us the most pitch range to adjust our sound so now this the hot cue i'm going to use is um, for pennies or dollars this one just the very beginning but if you listen when i when i fade this and hit the hot cue, it sounds like this. So it kind of just sounds like a completely different sound. So I'm going to play that over this loop here. Now I'm doing different ones. So that's the idea of that tip. Um, there are all sorts of things you can do with hot cues, and I would suggest if you're interested in stuff like that to really uh, experiment, create, see what you can come up with. But um, it's really fun, and I would definitely recommend trying it if you never have before. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.